What's up everybody, welcome to Horror Reviews. I'm about to watch the official trailer for Alien Romulus. This is coming out August 16th, which is pretty soon. I'm very excited for that. It is directed by Fede Alvarez. I did watch the teaser trailer and it looked awesome. And I've seen this, a bunch of people posted this on Instagram. I've already seen like the little beginning of it where the rain drops. I could just like, I've seen that like 10 times because everybody shared it on their story and I just have to like click off because I didn't want to watch it yet. I wanted to watch it on the channel for the first time. So let's get into it. I don't really know what to expect. All I know is what I saw from the teaser trailer and that this is going to be taking place between the first Alien movie and the second Alien movie. So let's get into it. Is this really where you want to spend the rest of your life? You know I don't. Wow, that looks really good. Then this is our only ticket out of here. <clears throat> I mean, this. There's just so much silence, just lots of like really enjoying it, just bringing you into the environment. But it really reminds me of Event Horizon a lot. Just reminds me of the ship a lot, just the hallways and stuff. Like I know the alien ship, was, I've all been like that also. But specifically, it just reminds me of Event Horizon a lot. Oh, dang. What's happening? There's something in the water. What do you mean there's something in I the water? I don't know, there's just something in the fucking water. No! <laughs> fucking thing's hunting us. Oh, but then don't worry, come on. Run. No one. Uh, taking the original tagline. Are you sure you want to do this? Ah, uh, okay. Clearly, that final scene with the xenomorph up against the wall is obviously, uh, it, it, oh my gosh, what is the word? Copy of the original, but homage, homage the, to, the, uh, to uh, the older film. I'm sorry, I'm blanking right now. I can't even think of what I'm trying to say, but you know what I'm saying. It's shot as an homage, obviously. Um, but, and then the t old tagline being reused, amazing. That's awesome. The trailer is very interesting. It's not what I expected because it's just a lot of shots and a lot of sound design and a lot of silence, which is uh, really cool though, because a lot of trailers these days are supposed to be, are trying to be really like over simulating over the top, lots of noise, lots of cuts. And there was a lot of cuts in this, but, um, but it was still a lot of just like sound design and music. The only thing is, I kind of feel like they still showed a lot without really telling us a lot about what's going on. So I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, like it looks good. Obviously it looks really good. I'm, I'm very excited for it. I, I like the way it looks a lot better than I did with the teaser trailer. I do feel, still think it looks very digital, um, but like in a really good, clean way, not like in a bad way. And it just looks like, looks clean. It looks really good. Very vibrant, deep colors. Um, lots of use of different, like the lighting looks awesome, but in like, uh, just again, it was like a lot of shots of the environment and the ship and stuff. Not a lot of like what's actually going on. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, it looks good. I don't really know what else to say. I'm not like super duper familiar with all the storylines and everything that's connecting all the alien films. I haven't seen them all in a while. I just watched Aliens again pretty recently. 
but uh, so I'm not really like familiar exactly with where the storyline is going to probably be. I know it's like its own thing. It's between the first film and the second film. But I mean, yeah, it looks really good. Everyone's been talking about this a lot. My only, like I said, my only complaint really is personally, it just feels like I kind of got like another teaser trailer, but it was longer. I feel like it just kind of like, because they still showed a lot, but they didn't really tell us a lot. I don't know. I felt a little bit gypped in a way with all that silence, but I don't know. That's not to say it's bad. Again, it's not to say it's bad. It just it wasn't exactly what I was expecting. So maybe, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I don't want to know that much about it. It just seems like they still showed a lot, but didn't explain a lot, if that makes any sense. Anyway, August 16th. I'm very excited about it. Let me know what you guys think down below. And, you know, um, any information that you guys think that this is going to tie into. Uh, I read something that they're all going to be like, oh, the characters are all going to be related through blood or something else. Um, so I'm, I'm not really, again, I'm not super familiar with all of the, all the storylines and stuff to really piece what this might be. So let me know down below if you know more than me, which you probably do, but that looks awesome. I'm very excited for August 16th. I really hope that movie's killer. As I said in the teaser trailer, if he brings the suspense that he brings brought from, uh, don't breathe into this as well as the intensity that he brought from the Evil Dead remake. I think this could be like the perfect combination of those two things in this like environment on a ship, but with like the gruesomeness of Alien. And it could be really, really cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. I'm money scared. I'm a big bad wolf. I never see the silver line and only see the gold. I don't speak in caps, dog. Everything bold. And I put that on myself because it's a life that I done chose. I said, come through. You can see me on the west side.